The biggest person who inspires me in my life is my mom. She is the one person in my life who would take a bullet for me and do anything I ever needed. We had the best relationship that a mother and daughter could have. I have no idea how she does what she does. She is 44 years old, a single mom of twins, and works as the manager of the Hip and Knee Replacement Center at Palmetto Health Richland. She works from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. every day, and depending on what she has to do that day, she may stay later. After a long day of work, she comes home to a set of twins who have to do homework, after school activities to be picked up from, and needs to eat dinner. How she does all of that just amazes me. She has never once forgot to pick us up or take us somewhere on top of her busy schedule. My mom's goal in life was to raise two amazing set of twins and for us to have the best life possible. She has never missed one of my cheerleading competitions or my brother's football or baseball games. I don't understand how she handles all of the work on her and how she controls her stress level when I know she is stressed. She somehow knows not to show it to us or even show us that she is stressed. Ways to deal with stress is positive stress talk to yourself. We all talk to ourselves at some point but it's usually in our heads. For example, when you think you can't do something, what you need to say to yourself is, I can do this. Always have a positive comeback. Emergency stress stoppers that can ha happen anywhere, either at work, home, or on the road, or in public, are to count to 10 before speaking. Never be afraid to say, I'm sorry, if you do something wrong. And don't wait to the last minute to do things. While my brother and I were going through elementary school, my mom decided to go back to school herself and wanted to get her BSN in nursing. As she already had a lid on her plate at home and at school, she wasn't going to give up even if she knew it was going to be a challenge. She was ready for the work ahead. She went to school during the day while we were at school and then at night we were all doing homework. She never once complained about anything she had to do. Her obstacles were overcoming everything she had to do to complete the BSN program and making sure her kids got what they needed. I know that there was plenty of times that she had to stop what she was working on just to make sure that one of us got where we needed to be on time. Just when I knew she didn't want to do it anyways. She showed us how important her kids were to her and she wanted the best for us. The obstacles I know I'm going to have to face is finishing my first semester of college with a well GPA. I know that I'm going to have to face things that are not going to be easy but I know I can handle it. I'm going to have to figure out a way to manage my time and my stress level just like my mom did. She proved it to me that it can be done, that it's going to take work, but having a challenge should make you want to finish your goal even more. My mom has shown me that attitude is everything. Her attitude isn't real. Having a good attitude is going to get you far in life. My mom inspires me to have a dream and to accomplish it. That anything I want, it can happen. To never say never. I think that learning from how strong my mom is as a person and her personal goals and towards her work has made me realize that my obstacles are not going to be easy to overcome, but it's a good thing to have a challenge to look back and say, wow, look what I've done. I hope that one day I can be half the person my mom is today and make my own kids proud just like she did me. Every day um, my mom makes me a better person than I am today. I cannot explain how important she is to me. She is my best friend. She is my role model. And finally, she is my mom.